here at the European House of Democracy. You have come together over the three principles of human rights, democracy, and the rule of law. These are the same goals the people of Iran are struggling for. In just two weeks, since December 28, an uprising erupted in Iran and rapidly spread to 142 cities. Here we have the picture of these martyrs. Today, I have come to the home of human rights to be the voice of those protesters who are presently in prison and under torture. I have come to seek your support for the release of those in detention. I urge your group and the parliamentary assembly of the Council of Europe to strongly condemn the killing of protesters in prisons and to urge all governments in Europe to take practical measures for the release of the prisoners. I also ask you to urge the High Commissioner of Human Rights to form an inquiry committee to investigate about the arbitrary assets and the deaths of protesters in detention. You can make a difference by speaking up and raising your voice. Let me sum it up. These are my demands as well as the Iranian people's demands. Immediate freedom of the prisoners of the uprising. Freedom of expression and association. No more repression of women and no more compulsory veil. Now and just today, after 39 years, enough is enough. The uprising in Iran had several important messages. The first message is that the Iranian regime is very fragile and the Iranian society is in an explosive state. The other message is that the people of Iran desire a fundamental change. They reject both regimes' internal factions. Today, the ball of terror has been cracked. Now, the mullahs must fear for their future. In the course of the uprising, dozens were killed by the IRGC. Eight thousand were arrested, many were killed under torture, a number of protesters are missing.